Hi everyone, my name is Gail Maslack and uh, I made a decision to start shooting videos again. Um, I miss doing it and I miss my blog. I made a decision a few months ago when I got sick and things got to be too much that I needed to walk away and uh, do something different and clear my head and get some results and I've done that. And now I'd like to get back to blogging and continue on the path I'm on. And uh, it's it's amazing that something else happened uh, recently that I want to share with you that kind of is a good point for me to restart all of this. So let me get into that. 20 years ago, uh, last Sunday, I made a decision that changed my life forever. You see, it was my brother's birthday and I had nothing to give him. So as a third attempt to quit drinking and straighten out my life, I gave him my commitment to stop once and for all. Again, that was 20 years ago. You see, I had stopped before almost for a year, but the pressure was just too much. It would mean success, so I went out and drank the night before my first year anniversary. I failed again after suffering a mental health crisis, which put me in the hospital. This was the lowest point I'd ever been at, and I had seen a few. I couldn't take it anymore. I wasn't living. I was dying a very slow and painful death. My brain was twisted and my beliefs were screwed up. I felt that I was too ugly, of no value, and unwanted in this world. I had my reasons and there were events in my life that made me feel that way at times. But a non-alcoholic would have just shaken them off. Not me. I took them to heart and they became me. I really wanted to die because I didn't know how to live, if that makes sense. It wasn't because I wasn't talented. It wasn't that I was dangerous to anyone, just myself. I just always felt invisible and not comfortable in my own skin. In a crowd, I would feel such loneliness and anxiety that I couldn't stand it. Then once I had a drink, it would be okay. I would feel warm inside and safe with my best friend in my hand. I could handle anything and anyone, or so I thought. What I didn't realize is how badly I was screwing up my life, how I was hurting the people who did care about me, how I would run away from anyone who tried to get close to me because I knew they would just want to dump me if they met the real Gail. Well, I'm here to say that that was all lies. Yes, I had some things to straighten out about myself, but not to the, the degree my friend alcohol was telling me. He convinced me that I couldn't live without him that I was the life of the party and a joy to be around when I was drunk. That the real Gail was someone that no one would want to meet, let alone hang out with or love. Again, lies. I could go on and on with more pain and memories, but that is not what today is about. When I look at my sobriety date, I look back over the past year to see how far I have come. Well, I did that, but for the last 20 years. Boy, did I realize a lot. I have not only stayed sober, but I have overcome major depression, learned how to live with borderline personality disorder, recovered from a major car accident and second facial reconstruction surgery, a divorce, stomach surgery, the death of my father, being diagnosed with a nerve disease, a botched surgery that almost killed me, a stomach bleed that almost killed me, and a mother with Alzheimer's that I care for daily. Those are the negatives, and I share them as an example of what you can get through without alcohol and successfully get through. Now on to the positives. I have built not one, but two stellar careers where my skills were top notch and I was respected as an expert. I was the go-to person. I have purchased a home with just my credit and no one else's. I have traveled around the US and Canada. I have volunteered in many ways. I have a blog that I am proud of and that I get wonderful comments back from. I have an online business, which I am growing and growing. I have found the love of my life. I was able to make amends with my father before he died. And now I have a great family of my own. I have witnessed my two nieces getting married and I am able to handle relationships with people now. And you know what I've found? I'm now able to live life. I didn't even know it was out there before. I'm able to be the caring, giving, passionate, intelligent person I was meant to be. I also have a relationship with God again. 
It is through that that I discovered my true purpose in life and am pursuing it. The list just goes on and on. I am also a person of gratitude and humility. In fact, I was torn about writing this because in sobriety, you must always watch out for ego. It can cause you to go back out. So sometimes when people post their sobriety anniversaries, it is coming from a place of ego and pride. However, I really looked at that, and mine is not from a pride, but from my heart. It is coming from a place of knowing that my life experiences, though difficult, happened for a reason. That by me honestly sharing from my heart, I can touch and inspire others. Most importantly, if by me sharing my truth, I help just one person in some way, then my purpose has been fulfilled. I also wanted to point out that this just wasn't an easy ride in the park. There was a lot of work to do. And it, I can boil it down to three simple steps. I built my foundation in the rooms of AA with their 12-step program, and I lived that daily. I used the skills I learned in mental health groups that enhanced my 12-step program. And I practice in a three-step process, analysis, self-analysis, learning, and growing. You see, the best thing about this is I found I'm a person that loves to constantly learn, not just about the world and things, but how to grow as a person. And your mind really is the key to your success. So if you really want to be successful and live life to the fullest, you need to be constantly working on your mindset, yourself, and your skills. So on this very special day, to me, I say to you, there is always hope and nothing is ever too much. There is always a way to deal with everything. Crisis and drama is temporary. It is your reaction that will be your future. You don't have to stay stuck. There are people to help you, programs to help you, and you can make it, my friend. Everybody has value. So I'm going to put this PS in here. If you are struggling from either a drinking addiction or mental health problem, please don't be afraid to ask someone for help. You are not alone, and you are worth it. Look at me as an example. I was a shell of a person. I'm not a shell anymore. Love to you all. I hope you have a great day. And thank you for letting me share my anniversary. God bless.